Uh, some of the challenges that I noticed while reading the script were um, the play takes place all in one evening, so there's a time factor that um, is quite restrictive. Uh, it goes from early evening into the night um, of one day, so it's that real time sort of transition. Um, so the, that transition from sunset through to the night and is quite, quite a challenge to get that to happen at the right time. And another one was the fact that a large chunk of the play takes place uh, in candlelight. So um, yeah, having no uh, electric light in the play um, creates a challenge for me to light it bright enough so the audience can see the actors' faces, um, but also give the impression that it's lit just with candles. So that, that is a, quite a big challenge. The significance of creating lighting for a play, the first most important thing is that the actors are visible and the audience can uh, see the actors' faces and hear the text. Because if it's too dark or too atmospheric, um, audiences lose connection with the story. So it's very important that um, the lighting levels are enough to be able to enhance that. If you're looking at a candle uh, lit on a table, um, it's a single point light source which lights 360 degrees around itself. So that is a challenge in the theatre. So there'll be some low lighting angles um, coming in uh, on both sides and that'll cast shadows up behind the, uh, the actors on the walls. So that gives that sense that the light is sort of emanating from that central point. Um, and there'll also be reinforcement of uh, light on the surfaces that the candles are going on. So like where the candles are placed, there'll be extra lighting on the walls to give a sense that the orange glow from the candle. And uh, to extenuate that, I'll be sort of contrasting the ambient light in a cooler tone um, against the warmth of the candle to really give that sort of atmosphere and depth.